Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a what to expect video for the MI Box 4K. Now this is going to be the first video of the series. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you what the 4K box can actually do. I'll be showing you the software itself, uh, the apps that I've installed. Uh, there are some hacks that you can uh, do. I'll tell you about this, about the hacks, how you can do it and then show you how those things work because I've already done it on this. There are things that uh, are uh, actually available for the uh, Android TV and there are things which are only available for Android phones or Android devices but there are ways where you can take those apps and put it into the Android TV and use it. So I'll be telling you what the limitations are, how to actually uh, do all those things, what are the workarounds uh, so you know in case you buy this what all can you expect from this. So let's start with just the basics. So what does uh, this actually do what can you see so this is the home screen so basically you have apps here so you click on apps it'll show you all the apps so whatever apps you've installed it'll show you that but you have an apps button here itself you press that all the apps come there anyway so you don't even need that uh, now below are all the apps that you recently used so they will uh, it will start putting all the ones that you recently used and whatever is new or whatever uh, you watched or uh, continue watching things that will come up over here. Now, uh, you can actually customize the channel and then you can switch on and switch off things that you want to see over here. Now, that's done. There's an option of removing this also. So I can actually go here like Hotstar. I can move this up, take it down like I can go here, press it, take it up take it down to whatever and if I don't want it here I can even go ahead and remove it so completely remove it from there I'll just remove YouTube also remove and it's gone so let's see what all apps can be installed uh, now I'll go here I'll see get more apps and get more games right away so I'll go into get more apps now this is your Android TV Play Store so it's different from your regular phone Play Store now over here you will see a lot of uh, regularly downloaded ones, common ones you will see over here and you will not be that impressed by it, there are very less of them uh, but you can actually sideload things, we will be talking about that, I will show you what all I sideloaded. Now you can install all these apps, Netflix, so basically Netflix, Hotstar, uh, Amazon Prime, uh, Prime Videos and all these kind of uh, famous ones are there on the store itself. By default, Netflix and Amazon Prime is already there on the uh, TV box, so you don't have to install that and you have shortcut buttons for that. So now, you can install everything from here. Let's go ahead and now see what all apps can be installed. Now, you have Netflix, YouTube, all these things, those are fine. You have Spotify, so you can actually play music uh, directly from here, control it from your phone if you want. Uh, all that is there, but I was able to install Kodi. So Kodi is a uh, video player. So I was able to install that. Uh, and in Kodi, I was able to get a, a custom add-on. Uh, I put on that add-on uh, and then I was able to use my Geo TV on it. So now I'll go into add-on and open this. So now it's open. Now I'll go into genre. I'll go into whatever. So I got, I get all the channels that are there on my Geo TV. So all this is available. Now I'll just go into a news channel. I don't want to get into copyright issues. So I'll just go into news channel. Let's open up one of them. And that's it. Now you have live DTH TV uh, working on this TV box. So I'll just get out of it. I don't want copyright issues. So now I have all the options. So I have more options than my Tata Sky actually. Uh, because I have to pay for all the channels. Now here I don't have to pay for any channel. All that I need is my Geo subscription. If I had Geo TV, uh, all the channels are available for me. I just install that over here. So now, uh, in uh, even if you want a second TV in the house and you don't want another Tata Sky or something like that, all that you need is a good internet connection, uh, MI TV box and your uh, Geo connection, uh, any Geo connection. Now, this internet is working from Airtel, so you don't have to use the Geo internet itself. All you need is a username and password for the app. Once you put that, you can use it on any TV. So now I have uh, installed that, I am using all that. I will not go into all the apps and show you all the movies and stuff, copyright issues. Now, you can install MX player, VLC player, all these uh, third party players where, uh, which can actually be used to browse your hard drive or whatever you install on or uh, whatever you store on the MI box itself. So there is an option of actually installing stuff on here. 
सो इट्स गॉट एट जी बी ऑफ मेमरी आउट ऑफ विच अराउंड फाइव पॉइंट समथिंग जी बी विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर यू सो यू कैन इंस्टॉल स्टफ ऑन इट और यू कैन इंस्टॉल एप्स यू कैन इवन स्टोर स्टफ ऑन इट बट आई वन सजेस्ट स्टोरिंग स्टफ ऑन दिस बिकॉज इट टेक अप ऑल द स्पेस एट जी बी इज नॉट दैट मच uh but you can actually put a hard drive and then uh, start putting stuff on the hard drive so uh, i can actually put a entire hard drive with series uh, with movies and stuff i can just plug that into this and then watch it directly and uh, no codex issue no no uh, no issues like that like uh, now this tv also even though this is smart it does have problems with uh, 4k 60 uh, 60 fps uh, videos uh, but with this i don't have that problem and i can actually install any third party uh, uh third party uh, player now i will not play anything because of copyright issues but now you know what you can do now there is a web browser the web browser is not that great so i was able to install uh, google chrome on this now if you want to install google chrome google chrome natively is not there so in the app store it's not there you will have to download the chrome uh, apk the chrome setup file and then uh, put it on a pen drive and then install it here so you don't even need any permission a third party thing or crack or nothing you just take it on a pen drive come here install it it will get installed without any issue but you will not see it so did you see chrome you can't see over here but what happens is uh since the android tv will only show the apps which are meant for android tv even though the app is installed you can't see it in the android tv version but you have a side load version so you can install this this is also available directly uh from the play store uh side load launcher so you install that once you install that now you will see all the other apps which are meant for the phone but i have installed will be shown over here now i have google chrome So now I can install Google Chrome. I can browse with it. I can just install keyboard mouse and use it just like a laptop. So I can do my word editing, processing, whatever. Uh, if there are things that you want to use online, like if you want to use Netflix or Amazon Prime or any of those services online uh, through the web browser, you can even do that. Now these are the things which you cannot do with a Chromecast or a Fire TV stick. So that's the major difference. So that's what uh, a lot of people have been asking me. What's the major difference? Why should I buy this instead of that? So now this is an all-rounder device, which can uh, be used to install anything, uh, anything that is there on Android uh, market. You can install the regular one. Uh, you can install the cracked version. You can do a lot of things, and uh, there are no restrictions to this because it's pure Android. And the best thing is, even though this is MI, no MI uh, ads, no MI software, nothing on this. So that's one thing which I really like. So that is the. first video i will not go in depth right now i'll uh, show the rest of the things in the second one uh, do comment ask all your questions in the comments so that i can incorporate all those questions i can give the answers to uh, to all those questions in my upcoming videos so now some of the answers i've given in this videos uh, were from the comments that you put in the first one so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye